What's up you guys? I am back with another t-shirt review. So today we'll be going over the Barakat tee from Robert Barakat. So the company actually reached out to me on Instagram to see if they could send product for an honest review. But to be honest, I had never heard of them before this. So I looked them up on Google and I saw that they were actually selling clothes in Nordstrom. So I was like, wow, okay, you guys are actually legit. And when I took a look on the website, you know, I'll, I'll put up some of the shirts that I was looking at on the website right here, but they just looked really, really nice, um, like super premium and like luxurious. But just by looking at those images, can't you guys tell that they are like a little bit more high quality than the average t-shirt? So of course I agreed to get these shirts. They sent them and I received them. I'll show you, cause I didn't keep any of the packaging or anything, but I did post on my Instagram, like what it looked like. So I'll put that right here. And then I guess we could just get right into it. So I don't know if you guys could see like that sheen I was telling you about. They're just like super shiny. They are thicker than the average t-shirt. These are all going to be size medium. I am six feet tall, 165 pounds. Okay. I'm going to show you the tag real quick. Okay. So here's the tag. They are 100% Pima cotton, as you can see. And then this colorway is called Coral Tulip. So they actually sent me two crew necks, this one right here, and then the one I'm wearing, which is the Cool Grape. And I'll take this one off after I put this one on so I can show it closer to the camera. But I also got sent a long sleeve high neck and then a short sleeve V neck. Also wanted to show you the split hem they have on the sides. Pretty cool. All their stitching is really, really nice. So the best way to try and explain how the material feels, I would say, is like really, really smooth as opposed to being like, you know, the cotton that they brush on the outside and it kind of feels like a little fuzzy. It's not like that. This one is more like smooth. Like if I stretched it out over like a tabletop, I could like slide something over it because there would not be that much friction as opposed to like the brush cotton. Um, if you guys have watched my next level video where it's like really, really soft on the outside, the 6410, it's not like that. This is more like, like built Lux blend. Okay. Kind of like cool to the touch a little bit, not super cool, but Hopefully this makes sense to you guys, like with the material, the way I'm trying to explain it. But I'll go ahead and back up so I can show you. Cool, great. So right off the bat, you guys know that for me, I like my sleeves tight and you know, it, they're not huge and really baggy or anything, but I would prefer them to be a lot tighter and it kind of sucks because that is such a big deal for me that, you know, I probably won't wear these shirts that much just because of that. Cause I have so many other ones that fit me the way I like, you know, but the quality of the shirt is so, so nice. And I don't know if you guys saw my other video that I made for perk. They also make a 100% Pima cotton shirt. This one's much better. This one's thicker and the sleeves are actually slimmer than the perk. And I like that they have the split hems too. Okay, I'll go ahead and try this one on. You know what's weird about this one, guys? The arms are like actually snug. I don't know if, since it is 100% cotton, I think they did shrink in the wash a little bit. That is weird, huh? Hmm. Like this one fits me actually pretty perfectly. <laughs> and this color is amazing. Kind of reminds me of Cuts. Um, crap, I forgot what that color is, but if you guys watch my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. Mountain Mist. That's what it is, Mountain Mist. I did say that I would show the cool grape up close.
All right, and then next up we have their V-neck, and I got this one in navy. Okay, so this one is actually my favorite fitting of the three. And when I first tried on the V-neck, it fit kind of just like this. Like it was actually snug on my arms. And I wish that the other ones were as snug on my arms. So this one's really nice. They're definitely not as long as some of the other shirts like cuts or build. They don't have like that drop cut. So if you are a little bit shorter and you're worried about really long t-shirts, I think this one might be a really good option for you. Feels really, really nice, guys. And one other thing I noticed about these shirts was that they don't collect lint easy at all, which is amazing because that's one of my biggest pet peeves about clothing. Um, just like, not to go off on a tangent, but my one of my favorite pair of joggers was Public Rec, right? And I love them, they're so comfortable. I have a video about them, so stretchy, but they collect lint like one of the worst ever. I cannot stand it and I have to like sit there and lint roll all the time. So I'm actually selling them on Mercari. So if anyone wants those, just let me know because I'm probably gonna sell them. But anywho, let's get back to the shirt. This is also 100% Pima Cotton. So we'll go ahead and try it on. And we're gonna Steve Jobs in three, two, one. Okay, I don't know what it is, but anytime I have a shirt that's like a little bit higher in the neck, people absolutely hate it. <laughs> like there always has to be a couple people that will comment like, oh my God, awful neck, that looks so bad. <laughs> so, you know, some people definitely don't like it. For me, it's just that I have so many shirts that if I keep getting the same styles, it's like, wh why would I get another black long sleeve shirt? Why would I get another one? I have so many, let me like switch up the styles. So if I'm feeling like a little bit more formal, that could be an occasion of why I would wear this. But here we go, roll the sleeves a little bit, feels really, really comfy. Pretty slim around the arms, length is good. I had this laying on the floor and there still is no lint, which is really, really cool. For being a black shirt, that's rare. All right guys, so let's move on to the ratings. So for fit, I'm just gonna like bunch them all together because for the crew neck, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and say that most of their shirts fit like the second one I tried on, which is like the rose tulip, I think. Um, so I'm gonna just put them all together. I think this is pretty much the same kind of fit for the crew neck, so I'm just gonna do one whole score. For fit, they're getting a 3.3 out of 4. I do think they fit pretty good. Um, maybe I'm so used to like having longer shirts now, but I feel like if I, I don't know, it's like right at the edge of maybe not being long enough for me, but I think for most people it will be plenty long enough. For comfort, they are getting a 2.5 out of 3. Definitely pretty comfortable. Not the most comfortable shirt I've ever tried on. My favorite is still the Good Life Supima Cotton Tee. That's more of like, like kind of like that brushed feeling, like really soft on your skin. This one's like really smooth on your skin. And it's really soft too, but hopefully my explanation like made sense before. And then for style, I'm giving them a 2.7 out of three. I love the colors that they offer. I think those pastel colors are super unique and I wish some other companies would have them too because they just look really nice and they're like good colors without being so loud. You know what I mean? Like they're kind of like muted and that's what I like to wear. So that's why they got such a high score for style. And that gives them a total of 8.5 out of 10. If you guys want to try these out, I will put a link in the description. It gives you 25% off your first purchase. So go ahead and use that if you want to. But thank you guys so much for watching. I have a lot of other videos planned, so stay tuned. One of my new favorite companies is coming up. So I think the next one I'll post, I'm not sure if I'll post it this weekend or definitely next weekend, if not this weekend. So I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. 
and I will see you on the next one.